All right, so I Will by The Beatles. This is off the White Album. Uh, it was recorded September 16th and 17th, 1968. They went to the studio at 7 p.m. on the 16th, and they stayed till 3 o'clock in the morning before they had the basic tracks down, right? They took 67 takes on this song, and they kept take 65. And if you clicked out either up in the corner or the link in the description box below, it'll take you to my website, and I always do a little article on these songs. And I'll include a, a link to the Beatles Bible and some quotes about how they came about this, uh, with the recording of the song and the writing of it too, right? Anyways, so let's get into it. It's in the key of E. Now, on the record, it's in the key of F, okay? But pretty sure he's just using a capo on the first fret. But I'm going to teach it in E. Um, and if you see live videos of him, mostly from 2011 or so when it was in his set list, um, he plays it in the key of E standard tune, just straight E. So uh, we'll talk about the strumming in a second, but let's go over the chords first. There's a ton of bar chords in this one. They're all bar chords, except for uh, B7. We've got an E, and then we've got a C-sharp minor, just that A minor form bar chord. And then we've got an F-sharp minor, and then a B7. And then we've got a G-sharp minor, and then we've got an E7, and then we've got an A, and you could do it there, or there, and a B, there, or here, and then you've got back to your C sharp minor, F sharp minor, E7, E. And then in the bridge, you've got an A, G sharp minor, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, E7, E, E7, same thing, but now we go to an F7, F dominant 7, right? and B7, and then later on we get into this uh, A, B, C sharp minor, that whole bit, and we'll go over that in a minute, right? Now the strumming, if you watch a live version, the solo version of him without the band, he's playing it really fast and he's using all on beats, there's no off beats on the changes, right? So it sounds kind of like this. I played the A. Seven there, like live heat, It'll go like that, you know, thumb over, just straight A, straight B. The thing is, it's all on beats with the strumming. Now, on the record, it's more like this. shots there right and it's up to you how you want to strum it I'm not going to explain to you every time we make a change on and off you have to listen to the track to get that but I'll go over the first little bit right so we're gonna start on the on beat right so who knows and next chord C sharp minus on the off and on and you'll notice that We're hitting the open strings in those changes, right? There. There. Right? So that's, you know, on. Off. On. On. And then we've got... There's a lot of offs, um, and like I say, you just have to listen to the track uh, to find out where those are and figure out which way you want to do it. You know, if that's all just too much when you're trying to sing it, just just do all on beats like he does. Right? Okay, so that's the basic verse and everything. And then in the bridge, it's just it's all on 
in the bridge. In fact, actually, yeah, that, that e, E7 is off. That's where we're going to go to this F sharp 7 instead of the minor. Right? Now, on the record, this is what he's going to do. And I think he's playing the A here and the B there and C sharp minor and then he's going to go which is the C note on A3 and the A note on G2 and then slide down one fret so essentially what you're getting is an A minor an A and it's minor third just inverted so you get the minor third here and the A here kind of like going A minor to E right because that's your third of E and your fifth of E and then A, B, C sharp minor, again, right? And then the last time, there we're going to play this E augmented chord, right? Which is when you get your fourth, the fourth of E is A, we augment it, which means we add to it, right? So we sharpen. So if we follow that down, it's, and then we play, I think he's playing an E, uh, F sharp minor seven there, right? And that's how I like to do that, because we're getting the E in there, right? Which is the minor seventh. You can just play an F sharp minor if you want it, but I think that's what he's doing there. And then E seven, and then we go to a C. the ending it's and then we end on that E major 7 chord right? which is just barring G, B and E on the 4th and getting um, A2 there right okay so super cool you know I just love that part to me that that part makes the song now live um, he doesn't do that at all right he just goes like this um, so he kind of goes to an A he's playing it like this right and I think he's mostly playing right because he can't really play that note um, you'd get that, right? It's A minor to this um, C-shaped E chord. And that's it. And then... Okay, but to me, that part is a huge part of the song. it for the strumming part all the chords tons of chords and it you know when you hear this song it goes by in a minute and 50 seconds right and, and you're like oh well, that sounds super easy but to play it cleanly there's a ton of chord changes man right and to get all your strumming in sync it's uh, quite a bit harder than what it, it may look like and then we've got the fills that's the 
first one, and it's just based around an E chord, right? So we've got, it's just an arpeggio, E string, B string, G string. And then we're hitting the sixth there, which is the C sharp, and hammering on the G string, open B. Now we're gonna go, that's an A chord, A arpeggio, right? E string, B string, G string. Back to the E chord. So. Ending up on that E note on D2. That's your first one, right? And then the, the next one will be. open B and then the seventh right the D note and now we're gonna go A A flat or G sharp in the key of E and then C sharp D sharp E two and four frets fret two fret four so Then, that again, then, now we've got, there, because we've got um, F sharp 7, dominant 7th, and we play the top string, that, that's a 6th, right, that interval is 6, and then we're going to come up to B, like that. From here, forever, forever. And these are all on beat, right? On, 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 on. That's the next group of them. And then coming into the ending, that guitar will come in and will double this. Then it goes G2 and E2, up two frets. And now we're gonna come to the C chord and we're gonna go again except that note is pushed that D sharp is pushed so and that's the ending okay so just go over those last ones from the C Awesome song, you know. Typical, uh, we shouldn't say typical, but just um, that's McCartney. It's like I said earlier, a minute and fifty seconds long, and it's so incredibly musical, right? Um, and we haven't even talked about the melody. And he, I read an interview somewhere where he said that he thought that this melody was one of his best melodies that he's ever written. 
right? So there you go. Anyways, that's it for this one. I hope you get something out of it. I hope you enjoy playing it. I'm sure you will. It's just an absolutely beautiful song. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.